come out here for kind of a matchup of, of two of the state's best running backs, yeah. and you come out here and put up, I don't know the yardage, but it was a lot, and four touchdowns. Um, how did that feel to have that sort of performance in a matchup where a lot of eyes were on y'all and the impact y'all could have for your teams? Uh, man, it, it was really good. I could see that. Uh, man, we knew we knew coming out, you know, they obviously had Harlem Barry, and, you know, the goal was to stop him. And I'm just really glad. I'm just really proud of how, obviously, you know, my offensive line played. I can't do anything without those guys and my receivers mm -hmm. blocking for me. But, man, defense stepped up a whole lot. I'm, I'm very proud of those guys. Like, coaches on their ass, tough this week. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just really glad. I'm just really proud of how everybody played this week. I'm just proud. We did an interview in this general area two years ago when you stepped up as a sophomore and Gage was injured and you had to make some big plays late to beat West St. John. Two years later, you're the guy, you're the college commit, you're off to a hell of a start to senior season. What is it like to look at those last two years and how much has developed for you game-wise and just everything else going on? Oh, man, it's been crazy. I worked my tail off this whole summer. And I'm really this host, like I haven't really told anybody, but you know what I'm saying? I really dedicated this season to my sophomore year because those guys were like, you know, my big brothers. And you know what I'm saying? I told them, you know what I'm saying? Some, you know, all the seniors that, of that class, you know, I told them like, I'm going out this year for y'all, man. Like, it, you know what I'm saying? It's for them, you know what I mean? Because they, like everything you see now, it, that was them bringing us up, you know what I mean? So I'm just proud. What do you try to pass down to them? I asked Martrell a little bit about like y'all's class that uh, there are several of y'all that played big roles as underclassmen. Mm -hmm. What are the things that he feels like y'all try to pass down to him? What are those emphasis or emphases from y'all's perspective that y'all want to, when you leave here, be passing to those next classes? Um, what I always want to pass to those guys, you know, losing is not acceptable. You know what I mean? As you can see over there, all the state championships over there, we just we just don't want to lose. You know what I mean? That's all. That's really what we want to, you know, give to these guys leadership and just not want to find find a way to win. That's, that's mm -hmm. the two biggest things. You know what I'm saying it's just it's just a mentality. You know what I'm saying that's what the coaches preach to us and. <clears throat> I'm just really blessed to you know to have all these guys on the team, man. I can't, you know, I can't do anything without any of these guys. Like, it means so much to me. It feels like y'all are doing a good job at living up to that message right now. Y'all are off to this great start to uh, to y'all's y'all's year and and are looking as strong in y'all's division as, as anyone. What do those expectations look like for y'all down the road? Um, um, how do you feel like y'all are playing right now? And and what what does the road look like ahead? Oh, uh, we're playing, we're playing, we're playing pretty good. Um, we're nowhere near as ready. Like we, we honestly kind of played a little bad tonight. You know, it was you know we had some scores and stuff like that, but we're nowhere near to being done. You know what I mean? Uh, just obviously, you know, this game was a statement game. This team was the number one seed. They were undefeated. So you know, we just coming out. We had to play hard, man. We be a phys more physical team. Um, how's everything been going college-wise? Have you been hearing from other schools still trying to sway you a little bit? Do you have any plans coming up, whether to, to visit Lafayette or visit anywhere else in the, the coming weeks or months? Um, you know, recruiting, recruiting has, you know, picked up a little bit for me and stuff like that. As you know, I'm still committed to UL. Mm -hmm. I still feel very strongly about them and stuff like that. And, you know what I'm saying, I'm, you, know, it's, you know, it's obviously good to hear from other schools and stuff like that. But you know, I'm just kind of really taking it one day at a time, really worried about the season. I'm really worried too much about the recruiting I get to when I get to it. Do you have any specific individual goals as part of this big picture for senior year? Um, um, like, do you have numbers you hope to hit or any benchmarks or, like, stuff that you're eyeing? And obviously there's a there's a bigger goal in mind regardless, but do you have pieces of that for you uh, along the way? One of my personal goals was after my junior year, man, I dedicated my body, you know what I'm saying, my work ethic and everything. I want, I want to get to – I want to rush for 2,000 yards before playoffs. And, you know, obviously you can tell, you know, it's, it's going pretty good. Man, and you know what I'm saying? That was really my biggest thing. I just wanted to rush for 2,000 because my junior year got cut short just because, you know, with, with uh, Hurricane Ida and stuff like that. So that was, that was really it, 2,000.